feel empowered by the fact that you can affect change. Thank you so much for joining me while I talk about my first semester as a graduate student in social work. I took three courses, human oppression, research methods for social work, and analysis of social welfare policy. A lot of the content in social work can be really heavy and can weigh on your heart. So if you are a sensitive person like me, that is something to take into account. Here are some of the things that I learned and had to face during my first semester of the social work major. In human oppression, I learned a lot about my privilege and really opened up my mind and my eyes to the struggles of other people and what they've gone through. Though I grew up in a lower working class household, I still didn't experience poverty the same way that people of color experience poverty. So that was really surprising to me how much of the focus was on just getting people to recognize their privilege. So what the field of social work really tries to emphasize is recognizing your own internal biases and understanding the way that you grew up and how your ideals, your religion, your family roles, your opinions growing up have all shaped the person you are today and what you will bring to your practice in social work. These are all really important and really difficult things to face in some cases. For me, I had to recognize the role that past traumas have played in my drive to be a social worker, as well as how triggering some of the material is to get through. Another class that I was in was analysis of social welfare policy. Let me tell you, I was never interested in policy or lawmaking or anything like that. Being in the social work major completely changed my perspective on that. Not only do I recognize how important it is to know about policies and how they impact individual lives, for my final project, I wrote an op-ed with the intention of submitting it to a large newspaper. I wound up writing my op-ed about the Equal Rights Amendment. The Equal Rights Amendment has to do with basic human rights that are not granted equally across the board based on gender. So I won't get into that in this video, but I do plan on making a video in the future about the Equal Rights Amendment. So if you're interested in that, please don't forget to put a comment in the box below and let me know. And also, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm a new YouTuber and that really helps my channel out. And it helps me get better and it helps the algorithm recognize my videos and get the information out to people that need it. Then lastly, I wanna talk about research methods. Yes, you still have to do research methods in social work. And as I mentioned in this video, it's important to involve ourselves in research, even in the field of social work, to be more aware of evidence-based care that we can provide for clients. Having basic knowledge of research and program evaluation definitely helps us understand how we can appropriately help others. So as I said, getting into the field of social work was pretty hard at first to contend with the marginalization and oppression of many different populations. But then you get to realize and feel empowered by the fact that you can affect change by getting your education in the field of social work and involving yourself in policymaking. I hope some of this information was useful. Until next time, thank you so much. Take good care.